the raging elements of nature. The magnitude of the Almighty will become apparent at a time when the elements of nature rage and cause indescribable damage. Then the hour will have come when people's spiritual decline becomes visible for nothing will remind them of God, nothing will move them to pray, for they will have lost their belief in a God and thus will not call upon Him in their need. Hence humanity cannot stay on earth any longer, for it fails to consider its actual purpose of earthly life and only contributes towards destroying the faith of the few people who are not yet entirely estranged from God, causing them to abandon God as well. God's love, however, will prevent the latter from being harmed and will therefore forcibly terminate the lives of those who threaten to endanger the souls and there will be great distress when the raging of the elements begins. It will be like a storm which threatens to destroy everything, people will be unable to defend themselves against it for they are like fragile stalks which get bent by the gales. They will want to flee yet be unable to escape the elements, without God's help their resistance will be too feeble, yet a heartfelt call to God will restrain the power of the elements and anyone who entrusts himself to God in his peril will be saved. But God will be very close to you during this disaster, he will affect everyone's thoughts and for the last time offer you his hand so that you may take hold of it and let yourselves be saved. Yet he cannot force your will, you must voluntarily acknowledge him and desire his help. There is no other way to lead humanity out of spiritual darkness into the light other than through an event caused by natural forces which create such turmoil in people that no one can escape it. Confronted by these natural elements they will have to recognize their helplessness, they will have to lose all other help so that they realize the end of their physical life, only then will there be a slight prospect that they will remember the Lord who is entitled to all power and who controls heaven and earth. God's living creations separated themselves from him and have remained separate from God for an infinitely long time, yet a moment of extreme crisis and danger can bridge this separation. The soul can return to God and as a result will even thank God for the indescribable suffering which brought it to its senses. Yet this moment when the soul directs its will towards God cannot be forcibly induced by God in spite of greatest love. God's love has tried everything to bring salvation to the souls and point them to the path of ascent. Yet people's will was strong and God cannot break this will but only affect the human being such that he changes his will himself and turns it towards God. This natural event is thus the final attempt to influence the human will in the most favorable way. But this natural event will also be so powerful that his own will need great strength in order to remain firm in faith and everyone who pleadingly sends his thoughts up to God will also be given this strength, for the father knows the adversity of his children and will lovingly support them if they are in danger of wavering. For his kingdom on earth shall remain, and extensive work will have to be carried out in order to proclaim the divine kingdom to those who had found God and desire his word. And this is the time the Lord is thinking of by making his word accessible to people already. The seed shall fall unto good ground and yield rich fruit on the field which the Lord first wants to purge from all weeds. Amen.